Hello everyone, my name is Vinay. Welcome to my channel Life Lore. Today we are going to discuss about the world's first DNA vaccine against COVID-19. And the vaccine is produced in India by Zydus Cadilla and the name is uh, Zycop D. Today we will discuss about the principle, basic principle of DNA vaccine and how this DNA vaccine is different from other vaccines like mRNA vaccine and uh, uh, virus mediated vaccine like uh, adenoviral vaccine and also some protein vaccine. So uh, and also we will discuss about the preclinical trial uh, data and also the phase 1 clinical trial data of Zycob D and uh, we'll uh, see what is the effectiveness of uh, this Zycob D from clinical trial uh, phase 3 data. So this uh, vaccine is produced by uh, Zydus Cadilla in India uh, which is situated in uh, Gujarat and uh, uh, recently government of India has approved the emergency authorization use of this vaccine. First we'll discuss the basic principle of DNA vaccine. When we talk about DNA vaccine first thing comes is plasmid vector and second is how we can deliver this to uh, to our body and third thing is how much how it creates immunity in our body so we will talk one by one first we will talk plasmid vector here in this case they have used pvax1 and uh, this this is pvax1 Uh, plasmid vector. This plasmid contains uh, uh, bacterial replication origin and uh, this is driven by CMB promoter which has high replicas, uh, high transcription efficiency in human and uh, this is the spike protein gene. You can see this is, uh, this is in black and this is a spike protein gene. So we need to deliver this spike protein gene to the cell and then this will produce uh, spike protein and which, which will show the immunogenicity and will get the uh, immunity against the virus. And it also ha uh, has one poly A signal which, which helps in transcription uh, termination. This antibiotic resistance gene helps in uh, selection of recombinant DNA in bacteria. So this is the basic construct of this plasmid feedback uh, plasmid along with uh, the spike protein. Uh, whoever don't know uh, what is plasmid, plasmid is uh, uh, this is an extra chromosome, chromosomal DNA which is present usually in uh, bacteria. In some cases this is also present in eukaryotic cells and uh, this this helps in uh, gaining the bacteria the uh, bacteri uh, antibiotic resistance so this helps the bacteria for the growth in antibiotic next comes the delivery method how this uh, vector this dna vector can be delivered into the cell in this case they have used needle free injection system and they have used pharmazet tropis and the the vaccine will be here and uh, this works as a jet, uh, the liquid comes from here. After pressing this, the jet will uh, puncture the cell and go in, inside the cell. Uh, this is the procedure of injection. Um, after pressing a little bit here and they, they press this one and the jet uh, makes the liquid go inside the cell. This is designed to make the vaccine available intradermal. Uh, you can see this is pressed here and after the jet injects, uh, jet firing, it goes in, uh, inside the uh, skin. You can see how effective so is this uh, process and then getting of my hands in, on the uh, jet injection. device and practicing a few times, it, it became second nature very quickly. I load the syringe, I tell the patient they're going to hear a little click and then it's over. The process with the PharmaJet injection system See is this how efficient, efficient is this process. So syringe, that is a good news also. And then After the injection of this vaccine, next comes the immunity. 
so uh, dna vaccine can be injected to myocytes in muscle uh, keratinocyte in uh, skin and also dendritic cells in uh, blood also but because in this vaccine they have used uh, skin so we'll discuss about this uh, skin cells what happens after the delivery of dna vaccine to the uh, skin cell this is a typical uh, skin cell and this is the nucleus this is our plasmid dna which contains our uh, spike protein gene and uh, when this is delivered to the cell two things happens first thing it creates inflammation which signals uh, other antigen presenting cell or our immune system to uh, act, to get activated uh, first thing is inflammation or immunity second thing it produces the spike protein which uh, uh, is secreted from cell so first we will discuss about how it activates our immune system usually when a, a dna a double stranded dna enters our cell uh, there are several pathways get activate activated so uh, in this case because this is a dna vaccine there are several reports showing that uh, tlr uh, tlr9 pathway is not activated so we will not talk about this and uh, mainly m2 and uh, c gas sting signaling pathway is activated and uh, this sting signaling pathway is highly uh, studied so we'll uh, discuss about this pathway after the double stranded dna enters into the cell c gas recognizes the uh, double stranded dna and binds to the double stranded dna and after that the conformation of this uh, protein a or enzyme is changed and it makes gtp and amp to cgmp and this cgmp goes and binds to sting after binding to the sting it uh, becomes dimerization or polymerization and it activates uh, downstream nf kappa b pathway and also it helps in production and it activates irf3 and it uh, helps in production of uh, several cytokines and after that the inflammation happens when the inflammation happens it gives signal to other uh, immune, immune cells like dendritic cells and macrophage uh, antigen presenting cells and uh, those antigen presenting cells move to the skin cells where the uh, transfection happens the dna when enters into the cell plasmid dna enters into the cell it produces and it before going into the nucleus it uh, produces inflammation and when it enters into the nucleus it produces spike protein there will be several spike protein release when the spike protein is produced because spike protein has signal sequence so, so this will be secreted out and a spike protein will be available out of the cell and this spike protein will be recognized by dendritic cells suppose this is a kind of dendritic cell and it has the nucleus and this will uh, recognize the spike protein through mhc when the spike protein recognize uh, is recognized by dendritic cell it uh, presents to cd4 positive t cell and also cd8 positive t cell and uh, further it activates b cell to um, produce antibodies and also it activates cellular response like cytotoxic t cells and also macrophages to act get activated and uh, it helps on uh, gaining immunity so this is the basic principle of dna vaccine next we'll talk about the pre clinical data which is available uh, for zycopd Zy